Canadians are clearly dynamic, creative, innovative, and highly educated and highly capable. There is a, uh, a lack of capital right now. There's virtually no venture capital in the country, which is a huge challenge. And secondly, there's a lack of understanding uh, and commitment to obtaining and protecting intellectual property. So I think the potential for the country is great. The future is uncertain. Lack of capital, lack of IP protection. Typically, VCs do. They're very smart and shrewd. They come when the companies are very well developed. They're not going to come at the early stage. Um, the world is not as flat as some people want in terms of venture capital. And in fact, it tilts on different angles. So what happens is in the VC world, particularly early on, you have to be close. You have to be right next door, otherwise it won't work. That's certainly what's happened uh, in my experience over the past 20 years and what I've seen time and time again. Otherwise, you'd go on the internet, you'd pick a few winners and losers, and you'd do it remotely, and it'd be a very easy industry, but it's not. It's a hands-on industry. So a VC from the Valley or from Boston or from England that comes here, they have to come here judiciously and typically when the company is already far more advanced. The first thing I would do uh, is I would look at intellectual property as a collective asset. It's funded collectively. It should be taken advantage of collectively. So I think there's an opportunity to aggregate it, to put it together, and to ensure that the benefits flow to the people that put the money in more broadly. Second thing I would do is I'd say in the venture capital community, there's an opportunity here that's huge. It does take time to develop, but I would stimulate more venture capital because I certainly believe it's at the heart of many of Canada's growth stories and a lot of Canada's future.